welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel and this one this is going to be something else because March is here happy March to all of you can't believe that we're already in month three of 2020 time is just flying by my apartment is in another stage oh my god the way it is looking right now it is crazy it is super super messy i thought that it would be perfect to film a spring cleaning routine video motivation i'm not only doing this for you guys i'm doing this for me i need the motivation to clean my apartment because there's just an explosion of clothes everywhere i'm going to start with spring cleaning my wardrobe spring cleaning my closet because it sounds very funny coming from a person that literally works in fashion and has a shit ton of clothes but i actually like to have a little bit of a capsule wardrobe a minimal wardrobe because i actually do wear a lot of basics and you don't need 20 white t-shirts then i'm going to declutter my beauty items and bathroom after that i'm going to be doing my living room and desk and last but not least i will be tackling my kitchen so i will be doing everything pretty much starting with spring cleaning can get quite overwhelming so that is why i like to create a little to-do list with all the things that i like to tackle that day I had quite an extensive to-do list because I was planning on cleaning everything in my apartment as well as filming a video, going to yoga and working on a project. So I had to be extra productive today and I am 100% sure that whatever you plan to do on your to-do list, you can do it too. But obviously, stay realistic. So before I'm going to start with cleaning and reorganizing and decluttering my apartment, I quickly wanted to show you the cleaning products that I will be using today. And I'm going to be using the limited edition scent from Mrs. Meyer. This is the peony scent. And I think they also have a very nice rose scent that I want to pick up. So I'm using the multi-surface everyday cleaner to clean all my countertops and stuff like that. Then I have dish soap for obviously the dishes. And I also have a hand soap, which I I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it's a cute set. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to these cleaning utensils that I use. These are actually uh, two sets of cleaning products, both from Amazon. First off, I have the nicest, thickest microfiber cloths ever from Amazon. I am completely obsessed with these because they wash super well, they're super thick, so they really soak up any water and dirt, and um, I just love them. Then this is a set of dish brushes from Amazon as well and I really like them because you can actually fill them up uh, with dish soap and then it dispenses out of hair which is really cool and also I think these brush heads are replaceable which is uh, pretty eco-friendly and they just look really nice so I will have linked both of these products um, down below as well as in my Amazon store where I show you guys all my furniture and everything that I bought from Amazon. Then these are my laundry products because I'm also doing my laundry today. Um, so this is laundry detergent that I get from Trader Joe's. Honestly, I just get it there because um, I love Trader Joe's. It's just easy, but I feel like this one is um, pretty good, like not crazy chemical. And then I also wanted to give a shout out to this very um, ripped open packaging. But these are actually my um, completely natural organic cotton balls that I use for my dryer. So uh, these are wool cotton balls and you can just add them to your dryer whenever you're drying your clothes. And um, they will cut down the uh, drying process and they will also uh, remove any wrinkles and they're completely natural so you don't have to use dryer sheets. So yeah, that's what I also use for my laundry. And then last but not least, some random stuff. I love using these Lysol wipes whenever I'm cleaning the bathroom or the toilet um, or my makeup vanity. Then I have the Mrs. Meyer toilet bowl cleaner that I use for my toilet. I have the Windex um, streak-free shine cleaner for my mirror and stuff like that. And then I have this marble travertine, limestone and slate cleaner and resealer that I use for my bathroom as well. So these are all the cleaning products that I use. I will have linked them in the description box down below if you're curious um, in trying them out as well. So let's start with spring cleaning. I highly recommend putting on your cozy clothes 
as well as turning on your favorite music or podcast or YouTube video to listen to. I'm starting off with spring cleaning my wardrobe and the very first thing that I do is literally take out all my clothes that I have. When it comes to determining what items I'm keeping and what items I'm donating or selling, I first check the condition of the item. Also, I had a lot of white turtlenecks so I made sure I only kept my favorite ones. And for the rest of the items I would see what the last time was that I actually wore them. And if I haven't worn it in the last appropriate season of that item, I also part ways with it. I finished pulling everything out of my wardrobe and my apartment is even bigger of a mess. I already finished organizing this part. These are all my coats that I'm keeping. Organize them per uh, color. These are all like my trench coats type of jackets. And then here I have a few expensive dresses that I think if you have followed me for a long time, you're all familiar with because I love them a lot. Uh, I will be selling all of them. So uh, yeah, check out the description box. So if you decide to clean your room, your home or your apartment, I'm proud of you. And hopefully this video makes it feel like we're doing it together. Oh my god, you guys! These are all the clothing hangers that uh, are freed up now, that are empty. And I think I did quite a good job. I think there's a, at least some movement going on. And okay, let me put these down. What I ended up going for is all my jackets here, then my play suits here. Here I have all my strapless as well as kind of cami tops. Then here I have all my black and white t-shirts. I don't really have t-shirts in other colors, so that's why it's so blocked. Then here are all my blouses, long sleeve tops, stuff like that. On the other side we have my sweaters, including turtleneck sweaters and just thick sweaters. Here I have all my dresses. I found a few extra dresses while I was going through the pal on the floor. Um, let me put them like this. And then here are blazers and jackets. Now the only thing that's left is organize everything on top of this closet and I also need to organize my clothing rack. My clothing rack is currently in my living room because I have to film another video so I will be tackling that a little bit later but um, yeah at least I'm almost done with this wardrobe. So nice! I do a little vacuum clean of my closet and then I organize all my shoes, look through them and see which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm giving away. Oh my god, you guys, I feel amazing because I finally finished organizing my whole closet. Yeah, I also got rid of some shoes, so all my shoes are now nicely organized as well. And I'm just super, super happy about it. So now that we finished the wardrobe, it is time to tackle the bedroom because the rest of the bedroom is still a mess. So let's start doing that after i organize my closet it is also time to do some laundry it's a little bit later right now after organizing my wardrobe i ended up filming a video and i also moved all the clothes that i had in my living room in order to film the video here so it's still a crazy clothing mess but all the clothes that i have here are going on my clothing rack so i'm going to organize my clothing rack because right now it is empty as well as just the rest of this stuff. Also, I quickly wanted to let you know that I am selling some of my high-end pieces 
on Poshmark. Um, I will have linked it in the description box down below. So I'm actually selling three really cute bags. One is already sold, but this is one of the other ones that I'm still selling. This is the C by Chloe jo Joanne. Joanne bag in the size small in this lovely burgundy color. I think it is so timeless and beautiful, but I have not been getting the use out of it. So I feel like I should pass it on to the next owner, lover of this bag. That and more you can find on my Poshmark account. Organizing my clothing rack is one of my favorite things because it is a very easy way for me to feel inspired to dress myself every morning because I keep all my new and currently favorite items on it and I just love looking at it. I think it's also very aesthetically pleasing. I have all my bags on it. So um, yeah, I just, I really like organizing my clothing rack. Now it's time to put away all the laundry that I did as well as the clothes that I used for my video. And if you guys don't want to miss my upcoming spring fashion haul, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will go live next week, so I'm very excited for that and I hope you guys are excited for it too. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this video and if you would enjoy more cleaning videos because I would love to do more of them. I find them very inspiring and motivating and I would also like to do a very quick and fast cleaning video if you just have not a lot of time but your apartment or home needs to look good. I'm also cleaning all my beautiful gold mirrors as well as making my bed. I actually didn't wash my bed because I wash my sheets once a week and I did it a few days ago. So I ended up just making my bed, but if it's time for you to wash your bed, then definitely do so because sleeping in clean sheets is just one of the best feelings ever. I'm also cleaning all the surfaces, such as the surface from my bed stand, and cleaning more mirrors. Now it is time to vacuum clean and I'm honestly so in love with my cordless vacuum cleaner from Dyson. I bought this myself, this isn't sponsored, but I would highly recommend it because it has totally changed my cleaning experience for the better. So I will have linked it in the description box down below, just as all the other items that I've mentioned. Life can get so hectic and crazy sometimes. And whenever I'm stressed and busy, the last thing on my mind is thinking about cleaning my apartment. However, what I have noticed, especially since I work from home, is that I'm so much more at peace 
and I am so much more clear-headed and productive whenever my space is organized. Even if you don't work or study at home, coming back after a long day at work to a messy place can just feel so negative and draining. So I really hope that this video is going to give you some motivation and inspiration to spring clean your home as well. Now that we've finished with the bedroom, it is time to tackle the kitchen. My kitchen is in quite a state, not gonna lie. I already cleaned a little bit yesterday night, so it was actually worse than this. But um, now it is time to clean all the shit off my kitchen. <laughs> a great description. When it comes to spring cleaning my kitchen, I first start with the dishwasher. I put away all my dirty dishes and I definitely had quite a bit of them and that made my kitchen look instantly way better. So wipe down all the kitchen countertops as well as the kitchen cabinets and the dishwasher. I also clean my stove and I definitely like to keep up with this because otherwise it is a pain in the butt to clean this. Because this is a spring clean and I kind of want to deep clean everything a little bit better than I normally do, I also clean the filter of my dishwasher. And last but not least, I put away all my clean dishes. So, next one is done as well. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> my t-shirt is a little bit wet, but whatever. Can I have a little applause? Not yet? Yeah, I need to finish the rest. <laughs> just kidding. Welcome to my bathroom, aka an explosion. I actually shot a few pictures here two days ago and um, yeah, this is the aftermath of that and I haven't cleaned out yet. So I'm going to reorganize my medicine cabinet, my beauty cabinet, I'm going to deep clean the toilet, I'm going to scrub everything in the shower and the bath. Just make sure that it's all nice and clean and organized. So let's get started. I'm honestly obsessed with my medicine cabinet. This one is from Ikea and I added it to my bathroom and it's been the best decision ever because as you guys can tell, I'm a big lover of beauty products and it looks just so pretty and organized keeping them all in here. On the left side, I keep all my skincare and on top, I keep my less used products and then on the bottom, I keep my most used products and on the right side, I have all my hair products, as well as body products and self-tan. Now it is time to clean the toilet. Definitely not one of my favorite things to do, but very essential. I'm 
also cleaning the bathroom sink as well as the shower. Because the water in LA is really hard, it leaves the white mineral residue on my shower and I really don't like it. So if you guys have any tips to get rid of that without completely scrubbing your hands off, let me know. I would love to receive some tips. So guys, we're pretty much done with my bathroom. I always hate cleaning the bathroom, so I'm very happy that it's done sparkly clean. And um, I'm also going to use some Diptyque perfume to just spray around. Um, I do this because this scent in particular is quite heavy, so I don't like to spray it on me. However, I do like to use the stuff that I have, so that's kind of a tip if you have a perfume that, for example, someone gifted to you and you don't want to like throw it away or anything like that because you don't like it, use it as a room spray. So, I'm gonna spray my bathroom. <laughs> Hello guys, good morning. It is actually the next day that I'm filming this last and final part of my apartment's spring clean. Yeah, I just quickly wanted to say that spring cleaning your apartment, your house, your room is a time-consuming thing. And you know, if you feel like, oh, I am disappointing myself that I am not able to complete such a simple task as cleaning my home in one day. Don't think like that. It is okay. It is a lot of work. It's kind of a workout at the same time too. And um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to let you know that it is okay if you don't finish in one day. It's okay if you don't finish in two days. You know, if it takes you the whole week, at least you are trying to better your life cleaning your environment, that's what counts. With that being said, we're almost there. Let's finish up the living room and vacuum cleaning and mopping the floor. So here I'm putting away my lights. I use them to film my videos and they're definitely very big and bulky, so they take up a lot of space. Then I'm also cleaning my chair and my desk. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing a desk tour, I actually uploaded one very recently, so I will have linked it in the right corner as well as in the description box. And obviously we cannot forget to give our plants some love, so here I'm watering my Monstera. And then it is time for my Dyson again to vacuum clean my floors in the living room. And last 
last but not least, my other favorite baby is this Bissell Steam Mop, which is honestly amazing because it leaves my apartment smell so good and it also disinfects all my floors because it uses hot steam to clean them. Honestly, this thing is life-changing as well. I wish it was cordless, but other than that, it's perfect and it's also very decently priced. So I will have linked it in the description box down below as well. And now we finally finished spring cleaning our whole home and I love to celebrate that with turning on my favorite scented candles and just having a cozy night in enjoying my beautifully smelling apartment and I hope you guys are going to enjoy your beautiful spring cleaned home as well So guys, we made it to the end of this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Ah, I'm so happy to be done with my apartment, but I'm also kind of over cleaning, not gonna lie. I'm, I'm so over doing this because yeah, spending two days cleaning is just oh, too much. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this extreme spring cleaning with me. And if it gave you some motivation to clean as well, let me know in the comments down below because I love reading your comments. And give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more clean with me, cleaning routine videos, because I would love to do more. And um, yeah, if you want to see more of me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram. And I'm going to talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys. Stop.